Hello and welcome to our video on the life and times of John Gotti, the notorious American gangster who became the boss of the Gambino crime family. Born and raised in the Bronx, New York, Gotti became one of the most powerful figures in the mafia world, earning the nickname the Teflon Don due to his ability to evade prosecution for years. In this video, we'll take a look at the rise and fall of John Gotti, his criminal activities, and his eventual downfall. Early Life and Entry into Crime John Gotti was born on October 27, 1940, in the Bronx, New York. He grew up in a modest apartment in a working-class neighborhood where he shared a room with his five siblings. His father was a day laborer who struggled to provide for his family, and his mother worked as a seamstress. Gotti dropped out of school at age 16 and started working odd jobs to help support his family. He also became involved in petty crime, such as stealing cars and running illegal gambling games. Gotti's early criminal activities caught the attention of the Gambino crime family, which was looking for new members to expand its operations. In the late 1960s, Gotti was officially inducted into the Gambino family and began working as a low-level enforcer. He quickly gained a reputation for his loyalty and ruthlessness and was promoted to the rank of capo, or captain, in the late 1970s. Gotti's rise through the ranks of the Gambino family was fueled by his willingness to use violence to achieve his goals. He was known for his sharp dressing, expensive jewelry, and flashy lifestyle, which contrasted with his working-class roots. Gotti also became known for his close relationship with Gambino boss Paul Castellano, who saw Gotti as a loyal and effective enforcer. In the early 1980s, tensions began to simmer between Gotti and Castellano, who was seen as out of touch with the changing times. Gotti believed that Castellano was too focused on white-collar crime and was losing touch with the street-level operations that were the bread and butter of the Gambino family. Gotti began to plot against Castellano, seeking the support of other Gambino family members who were dissatisfied with Castellano's leadership. Rise to Power John Gotti's rise to power in the Gambino crime family was swift and brutal. He quickly climbed the ranks of the organization, becoming a capo in the late 1970s. Gotti was known for his charm and willingness to use violence to maintain his power. He was also known to have a close relationship with his crew members and was well respected by many in the organization. In 1985, Gotti orchestrated one of the most notorious hits in organized crime history. Gambino boss Paul Castellano was assassinated outside a New York City steakhouse and Gotti quickly took over as the head of the family. The murder of Castellano was a brazen move that shocked the underworld and made Gotti a household name. The Gambino family under Gotti's leadership became one of the most powerful and feared crime organizations in the country. Reign as Boss After taking over as the boss of the Gambino family, Gotti's reputation as a ruthless and charismatic leader continued to grow. He became known for his extravagant lifestyle, including his expensive clothes, cars, and homes. Gotti was also known for his involvement in high-profile crimes. Despite facing multiple criminal trials, Gotti seemed to evade conviction time and time again, earning him the nickname Teflon Don. However, in 1992, Gotti's luck ran out when he was convicted on charges of racketeering, conspiracy to commit murder, extortion, and other crimes. The case against Gotti was built on the testimony of several former associates who had turned government informant. The most damaging witness was Gotti's former underboss, Salvatore Sammy the Bull Gravano, who testified against Gotti in exchange for a reduced sentence. Gotti was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, and he was sent to the United States Penitentiary in Marion, Illinois, a high-security federal prison. Gotti's health began to decline while in prison, and he was eventually diagnosed with throat cancer. In 2002, John Gotti died in prison at the age of 61. Legacy John Gotti's legacy as a notorious crime boss continues to fascinate the public even after his death. While some see him as a charismatic leader who protected his community, others view him as a ruthless and violent criminal who brought harm to many. Despite the controversy surrounding his life and career, Gotti's impact on organized crime in the United States is undeniable. 
After Gotti's conviction in 1992, the Gambino family underwent a period of instability and infighting. Several high-ranking members of the organization were arrested and sentenced to long prison terms, further weakening the family's structure. Despite this, the Gambino family remains one of the most powerful and influential criminal organizations in the country. In popular culture, Gotti's life and career have been the subject of numerous books, films, and TV shows. Several movies have been made about his life, including the 1996 film Gotti starring Armand Asante and the 2018 film Gotti starring John Travolta. His infamous nickname, the Teflon Don, continues to be used to describe individuals who seem to evade criminal charges and controversy. In conclusion, John Gotti's rise to power and subsequent downfall left a lasting impact on the American mafia and organized crime in the United States. While his legacy remains controversial, his story continues to be told and examined by those interested in the criminal underworld and its history.